Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there's three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc.'s templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software, which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions, Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, 
equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Customer Service Database Template. So if we scroll down to the bottom underneath the database tools and miscellaneous templates, right here, you're going to find the Access Customer Service Database. Go ahead and hit that. Once the web page opens, go to the Download a Demonstration section and download a demo that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm going to download this one. Once I've downloaded it, I'm going to open the file, and the file is going to be uh, zipped up, so you're going to need to extract all the contents of that file before you can open it. So I can hit extract all and then extract. Once you've extracted it, go ahead and open the file. And with all of the database templates, since they do come from the web, you're going to get the security notice. That's because they come from the web and your computer views it as a potential security warning or risk. Now I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And so this is the customer service database like I mentioned. So it would be perfect for if you needed to keep track of your customer service cases that you have, as well as your employees and your customers of your business. So to begin with, we're going to add a new employee. So if we go to the employees tab and hit add new employee, we're going to just put in the basic information for the sake of this demo. So we're going to say Blake test and we're going to put in an email. But as you can see, you can fill out a lot of information about this employee. You can even put in a picture of the employee if you want. You can even add in notes about the employee, phone numbers. We'll add in a phone number. And you can even add in addresses, all that good stuff, as well as your assigned cases and their open cases will show up here. They have none for now, of course. So we're going to hit Save and New. So now a new employee's details opens up, but we just saved the old one, so it is saved. So now we can close out of this for now. So with this database template, what you can do is now you can search for your employees. So if you had a ton of employees and you want to know what cases were assigned to a specific employee, simply begin typing their name. So I'm going to type in B. Since I have, there's only one employee in this database right now, it is the very first one that shows up when I type in B. So now I can double click this if I want and all this information pops back up. So if I wanted to go back in here and edit some more information about the employee or add in some new one, you could. Well, not for now. Go ahead and close that. And so now we're going to add in a customer. So hit the customers tab and then add new customer. Very similar to the employees tab, except this is just a customer. So if you have all their information, we're gonna say his name is Bob Smith. Um, if you have like their email and their phone numbers of a customer, you could add in all that stuff and even the companies they work for and the job title for that company. So we're gonna put in, we'll put in a business phone, five, and we'll put in an email, bob at test.com. But as you can see, the same thing as the employee, you can add notes about the customer, addresses, more phone numbers, all that good stuff, and even a picture of them like I mentioned. So now, in, oh, if that customer is also attached to an open case, that would show up here as well. So now we're going to go ahead and hit save and new. Same thing as the employees tab, a new one shows up, but we're not going to add in another one. Go ahead and hit close. And so now, once again, like the employees, you can search for a customer if you need to. So if I type in B, since they are the only one, they're the first one to show up. But as you can see, that customer record shows up, and if I want to edit or add in some new information, simply double-click the record, and this pop-up box shows back up. Close this for now. And so now we can add in a case. So if we go to Cases, and then we hit Add New Case. So this is a customer service case. So we're going to say, let's say we, run, we own a retail store. We're going to say it's a return item is the title. And we're going to say it's assigned to the employee we just made, Blake Test. And the customer is Bob Smith. And we're going to say it was open by, we're, uh, we don't need to fill in that. So as you can see, you can fill in a ton of information about the case, you know, the priority level of it, the category, the status, is it still open or is it closed already? The open date, it's obviously today. So it hasn't, we're going to say it hasn't closed yet. And as you can see, in, you can put in comments about the case. So now if I enter in a comment and I hit it in, it's going to then after, if you come back to it, it's going to show up in the history section. You can put in description about the case. You can put in a lot of information, and you can even put in an attachment. So if you had like a Word document that you wanted to go along with the case, you could do that, as well as the resolve date. So like I mentioned, you can put in a lot of information about the case. However, I'm just going to keep it simple for the sake of this demonstration. Hit Save and New. Similarly to the Employees and Customers tab, a new case one opens up. We're not going to add in anyone though. We just did. So hit Close. And now if I want to search for that. So from here, you can search by the title, the priority, the category, or the status of the case. So it was a return item case, so type in R. As you can see, there is a few more cases that were already in this database template. That is just put in for the sake of a demo. If you purchase the database template, you can put in all of your own information. 
And so now that return item one I just made, I can now double click this if I wanted that case to open back up and add in some more information about the case. That will not for now. And so now you'll notice this last one, the knowledge base tab. So if you hit the knowledge base tab, similar to the other ones, you can add in a new knowledge base. Now this is just simply if you have um, information sources out there that have knowledge that you think would be beneficial for your customer service group. So as you can see, you can have a title, a URL, tags, all that stuff. So we're gonna say, mm, let's say it's customer service rules. So if you had like a website that had all of your customer service rules listed on it, you could simply add in that URL and then it'd be perfect because then you could just, we'll say it's documentation. Or as you can see, maybe a frequently asked questions document. But so if you had a website that had all your customer service rules, you could simply put in a URL right here and then that would be part of the database. So now you can hit save and new. And so if you wanted to, you know, you're looking track, you're looking for specific uh, knowledge materials that you guys have, such as frequently asked questions, customer service rules, maybe address information about your uh, business. You could simply do that. So now you could then search for that. So we go customer service. Whoops. So since they're the only one in here right now, they are show up right away and you can even double click it. Once again, add in some more information about it. It's pretty cool. So this is a pretty detailed database template. It can really do a lot. And like I said, it'd be perfect if you ran a business that had a customer service uh, department and you wanted to keep track of all your customer service cases so you can look back on it as well as document all those cases. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna thank you all for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free, please feel free to subscribe or like our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, you want to further develop a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those. We post quite frequently. Once again, thank you all for watching this Microsoft Access Expert database template walkthrough and have a great day.